This video is sponsored by Hotspot Shield, a VPN to protect your privacy, data, and freedom to browse censored websites. Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and in this video I'm continuing my late 2013 Apple Mac Pro coverage. And I wanna tell you about a product that I actually purchased in with my own money to the studio. So it's a really good endorsement of the product because a company actually got some money off of me to buy a second one of these. And I'm talking about the Logitech K750 solar keyboard that you can see on my desk here. Now, as I mentioned, this is the second one I've purchased. I'm gonna tell you why I purchased the second one. First of all, I'll show you my old one. This is my original K750. This is in silver and white and it matched really well when I was using the Mac Mini, and also it matches the white desks and the overall look of Apple products. And then the reason I bought this one in is because the previous one was so, so good, and I'll tell you about the pros and cons in a minute. But this one really matches both the new desk that I've got, the Blue Lounge Studio desk has got this black portion here. Oh, I will just tell you, in my uh, Studio Desk Tour, I actually got a lot of questions asking if this black section is comfortable to write on. So I will just let you know, this black section's got a slight texture to it, but it is optional. You can fully remove it, and there's a white wooden part of the desk underneath. So anyway, I digress, back to the keyboard. So this matches the black section on the desk, and it also matches the black color of the late 2013 Mac Pro. So that's one of the reasons I purchased it. The other reasons, are all of the pros that come with this keyboard. Now, normally I would use an Apple keyboard, uh, but the only one that Apple make that has a numeric keypad is wired, and I wanted a wireless keyboard. So that's why I bought the original K750. I like to use that numeric keypad, and I like the wireless functionality, and it works extremely well. It doesn't connect via Bluetooth, you have to, do have to put a little USB dongle in the back of your computer, but it works really well, no problem with signal, and it just, is nice not to have wires traipsing across the desk. So that's one of the positives. The other positive is the battery life. It actually has solar panels. You can see the solar panels across the top here. So we've got solar panel top left and top right, and you don't have to keep it in direct sunlight. Artificial light is fine for charging it, and often the light coming off of your screen is enough to keep it topped up as well. And it's also got an on-off switch. You can save power if you want to. The keyboard spacing is brilliant. The keyboard feedback is unbelievable. Very, very comfortable to type on. You can use it either flat or prop it up with little feet on the back to give you a slight sort of typing angle. And all of these reasons is why I bought a second one. Uh, I don't think that unless Apple bought out one with a numeric keypad, I would try the Apple wireless one again. I've got no reason to. And I would really miss having that number pad on the side. So it's a great keyboard overall. I think this one cost me round about 50 pound. So quite a lot for a keyboard, but comparable to the price Apple charges for its keyboards anyway. And I will leave a link in the video description to where you can actually pick one up for yourself. So I think it complements the 2013 Mac Pro really nicely. Not only does it look nice, but it actually works really well too. And um, yeah, I can just really recommend it. So that's it for this video. There's plenty more late 2013 Mac Pro coverage coming up, so please do hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel as well, and I'll see you all again in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. If you wanna see another video of mine, please do click the annotation on the top of your screen now, and also you can click the annotation on the bottom of your screen and subscribe to the Geekanoids channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again next time.